Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss that how we can produce secondary metabolite from the plant cell. That is production of secondary metabolite. So without any delay, uh, let's start the video. So before directly going into their production, first of all, we should know that what are secondary metabolites. So generally, plant product they are classified into two categories: primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. So primary metabolites are those compounds which are necessary. for the growth and differentiation of plant cells means these are essential metabolites which are used for the growth and differentiation of plants so these are the primary metabolites like they include sugars amino acids and nucleotides but plant also make a second category of products which are not required or which are not useful for their growth and development but they produce these metabolites in response to certain disease condition or certain stress condition so you can say these metabolites they act as the plant defense mechanism so these are the secondary metabolites so by the definition secondary metabolites are those chemicals which are not required by the plant for its growth and development but they are the you can say they are the part of their defense mechanism so these are the secondary metabolites now how to produce secondary metabolites so why should we produce secondary metabolites because these secondary metabolites are very useful they can be used in many industries like they can be used in perfume industry in case of insecti they can be used for making an insecticide so they have lots of uh, uses which will we will clear under their application portion so if they are so much important so we have to produce them so these are the some steps which are involved in the production of secondary metabolites from the cell so first step is first of all we have to screen the plant for the production of secondary metabolite means we have to choose the plant which is producing that particular secondary metabolites so once we will choose that particular plant then we can proceed for the production of secondary metabolite from that plant so that's why the first step is just to screen out the secondary metabolite producing plant then the next step is the callus induction means once the plant has been chosen which is making the secondary metabolite then we proceed for the callus culture for that we can take a uh, explant from that particular plant and perform the callus culture so by this callus culture we will get the cell biomass now next is sub culture to increase the cell biomass means once we induce the callus then we have to perform the sub culturing regularly to increase the number of cells so that we can get the maximum amount of secondary metabolite so after sub culturing now we screen out the specific cells which are secreting that metabolite or which are secreting that metabolite in high amount so that's that's why the next step is the screening of cell line for the metabolite productivity after screening now these cell lines which are producing that metabolite efficiently these are now cultured in cell suspension culture in the large bioreactor bioreactor are the instruments which are used to carry out the biological reactions here we are carry out the reaction for the production of secondary metabolite so this step involve the cell suspension culture of already screened cell lines as we screened in the last step so screened cell lines are now under the cell suspension culture in bio reactors and in the bioreactor these screen cell lines they will produce secondary metabolite and once the secondary metabolite has been produced then we will purify that secondary metabolite by using certain purification techniques like chromatography etc so by this technique we can purify the secondary metabolite so this step they include the complete procedure of production of secondary metabolite that how we can produce secondary metabolite now how we can increase the productivity of secondary metabolite because with the you can say as we go with a normal procedure so the amount of secondary metabolite produced is very low so we 
can increase the amount of secondary metabolite production by following changes. Number one, select the proper cell line. So it means we should select that cell line which have high level of secondary metabolite. Means that's that cell line which is accumulating the higher level of metabolite. So we should select that cell line. Second, media manipulation means we can add certain growth regulators or phytohormones or nutrients to our media in order to boost up the production of secondary metabolite like for example it has been seen that if the sucrose concentration is increased from 3% to 5% then the production of rosa marinic acid is increased 5 times so by this by changing the media composition we can also increase the level of secondary metabolite production the next factor is permeabilization what it means that the secondary metabolite they are produced in the cell the sometimes they are blocked in the vacuole so by changing the permeability of cell membrane we can elute the secondary metabolite to the media so generally the permeabilization it can be achieved by electric shock ultraviolet light pressure sonication and heat so by giving this treatment we can fluctuate or change the permeability of cell wall so that the secondary metabolite it comes out of cell into the medium next way of increasing their production is removal of secreted product what it means that when the plant cells they are growing then they are releasing some waste product into the media and these waste product they are interfering with the growth of new cells so in order to increase the production we have to remove these secreted products so that these secreted products they should not interfere with the growth of cells and secondly they should not cause any or they should not you can say they should not proceed any kind of feedback inhibition so in order to eliminate the feedback inhibition and in order to increase the growth of cells we have to remove these secreted products from the media the next immobilization of cells by immobilizing cells we can also increase the amount of secondary metabolites so in this technique we just immobilize or you can say we just fix our cells within the reactor means the cells they are now not allowed to move they are fixed at a particular position so in the reactor when they are fixed so the media will flow over them so they will make the secondary metabolites so by this we can also increase the production of secondary metabolites next aliceters these aliceters are certain compounds organic or inorganic which are generally used and once they are used they increase the production of secondary metabolite or they also increase the growth of culture or organs now what are the advantages of these secondary metabolites? Means why we are producing these secondary metabolites? So these are the very important source of many industrially important compounds like colors, insecticides, antimicrobial, fragrances, theoropathic. Means these secondary metabolites they can be used in many industries. They are very useful. And in case of human health care, they also produce some theoropathic proteins or some pharmaceutical product. They may also be important in healthcare, food and flavoring agent in cosmetic industry. So these are the certain advantages of these secondary metabolites. That's why we are producing them. Now limitations or drawbacks of these secondary metabolites. So the limitation is in their production like first of all their production cost is high. Means the process by which we are taking secondary metabolite is very costly. Next. We do not have a complete knowledge about the biosynthetic pathway of many of these secondary metabolites. Means we are lack of knowledge. So we have to improve our knowledge in order to produce secondary metabolite efficiently. So this is also one of the disadvantages that we do not have adequate knowledge for their biosynthetic pathway. And cultured cell, generally we are performing the culture for the secondary metabolite. So it has been seen that the cultured cells they are unable to produce very high value compounds or very high amount of secondary metabolites. So these are certain disadvantages or limitations of secondary metabolites. So this is all about the secondary metabolite that what are the secondary metabolites, how we produce them, their advantages and disadvantages. So 
that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much